This is true wilderness survival. The contestants manage to catch a squirrel with their homemade traps. Every piece of prey here is hard earned. They eat roasted meat in their shelters, waiting for the $500,000 prize. It's day 47, and just for contestants remain. Kelly is singing in her shelter at dawn. Kelly is all about her mindset. Her shelter, the worst of the bunch, sits on a mountaintop. Instead of improving her shelter, she's singing here. What's the use? She keeps pounding her chest, trying to show how tough she is. Today, she plans to check out the other side hoping for more active animals. The last vault she caught kept her fed for three days. Now, she's surviving on wild berries, and her body is thinning. Kelly desperately needs protein. She hears a squirrel's call. Kelly aims and shoots an arrow, but the squirrel dodges it. She takes another shot, but misses again. Now, she has to retrieve her arrows. They are precious to her. Without them, she can't hunt anymore. It's now day 48, and Adam wakes up. He grumbles about his poor sleep and hunger, deciding to search for food as the weather gets colder. The contestants need to quickly find protein. He grabs his bow and heads out to hunt, despite the strong wind. He must be careful not to get hit by falling branches in the forest. The wind is very loud. Today is not a good day for hunting. Adam's hunting has not been going well lately. He only has half a grouse jerky left. He keeps searching in the forest. Unfortunately, he loses an arrow. Adam vents his frustration into the air, showing his inner internet troll. He has to retrace his steps to find the lost arrow, but the forest's lack of paths makes walking tough. The energy spent today can't be regained by eating a grouse. He even trips while walking. Adam is having a really bad day. His confidence is severely shaken. After walking for three hours, his legs are exhausted. He finally makes it back to his shelter. Now, he misses his family and friends very much. The repetitive days here are making him feel weary. Juan is struggling too. He stays in his shelter, trying to sleep in. The strong wind outside keeps him awake. He barely slept last night and uses earplugs. This might improve his sleep quality. Juan plans to make a hammock and hang his sleeping bag to dry. Otherwise, it might freeze. Juan can't wait for winter. He feels at home only when it snows, having always lived in snowy areas. Juan has made his bed cozy and plans to stay in it all winter. The river is already freezing. The challenge is about to get even harder. When Tan Ren went to fetch water, he found his usual stream had already frozen. A layer of ice had already formed. The water is filthy. How does he even drink it? But that's the harsh reality for these wilderness contestants. After getting water, Tan Ren grabbed his bow and went hunting. He scoured the forest and finally saw a squirrel. If he could catch this pair, he might have a decent meal. He drew his bow and shot, but unfortunately, he missed. Failing at hunting feels terrible, especially when you're so hungry. He didn't feel like moving at all. In the evening, Tan Ren lay in his shelter, feeling utterly exhausted and defeated. He's beginning to question his endurance and how much longer he can last. It's now the 49th day. The morning ice has formed, and Kelly woke up feeling very cold. Winter has arrived in Labrador, and the challenges for the contestants are only going to get harder. Kelly needs to check her hunting traps. The success rate of these snares is too low. She might need to change her hunting strategy. She plans to focus on hunting small squirrels. Kelly set up traps at the entrance of squirrel holes, hoping to catch some for food. Another day has passed. Nights without food are tough. Not catching any prey makes him feel embarrassed. He doesn't want to be a failure. Today, he set up five new traps, hoping to catch some food tomorrow. It's now the 50th day. Tan Ren hasn't had much luck hunting lately. He plans to make bird traps by the sea, trying to get some protein. He took a few sticks to the shore and started making bird traps. There are lots of resources by the river. Why not try fishing? He's seen plenty of birds here before. If he could catch these birds, he would get a lot of protein. He kept fiddling with a stick all day, but saw no results. Will this old sea dog ever get it right? He tied a big rock and hung it on a stick, using squirrel guts as bait. If a bird lands to eat the bait, it'll get trapped. Meanwhile, Adam was in his shelter organizing his tools, getting ready to hunt for food. The weather's getting colder, with plenty of ice and snow still around. Despite the sun, the river's beginning to freeze. Hunting is getting harder for the contestants here. Wilderness survival isn't as easy as it seems. You need a lot of grouse to sustain a person in the wild. Adam had been scouring the forest for grouse for ages without any luck. Despite the challenge, he still dedicates three to four hours daily to hunting. Adam eventually heard a grouse call. He quickly drew his bow, aimed, and shot, successfully catching it. Tonight, Adam has food again. This grouse was hard-earned, and Adam is very hungry now. One grouse is enough to sustain him for another day, but Adam feels a twinge of guilt each time he kills a small animal. Will he quit to spare the small animals? Adam brought the grouse to the icy riverside to process it. Fishing has become very difficult now. The contestants must rely on hunting for food. Once plucked, a grouse is quite small. Adam is very worried about the days ahead. Juan has already entered hibernation mode, 
hunting the least among the contestants, but he's been cheerful, chatting and laughing in his shelter, showing no signs of struggle. Whenever he goes out, he carries a metal pot. The path is already icy. Juan is very adapted to surviving in the snow. He fetched a pot of water at the dock. He drank it straight without boiling it. This old sea dog fears nothing. Earlier, he considered building a fishing dock, but that would take too much energy, so now Juan just wants to cut back on activities and save his strength. I was shocked when Juan said that. Can you really save energy like that? Even without eating, can you conserve energy just by staying still? I might not be well read, but old sea dog, don't try to trick me. I did graduate elementary school, after all. Now, Juan's strategy is to eat. Never heard of that one before. He knows he has to last another 20 days. I'm not sure how he decided on that number, but it's day 51 now. Kelly woke up and noticed from afar. She saw the river was already frozen. The temperature is dropping fast, and winter's approach is making her anxious. The fishing rod now doubles as a walking stick. With the weather being favorable, Kelly decided to hunt and check her traps. The first trap was destroyed and didn't catch any squirrels. The second one was the same. The third one finally had a catch. Kelly caught a squirrel. Although it was frozen, it was still very fresh. Kelly was overjoyed. Tonight's dinner is finally settled. In the evening, Kelly roasted the squirrel in her shelter. After being hungry for so long, eating roasted meat again. The meat tasted amazing. As she ate, Kelly joked about finding a young boyfriend and buying a house with the prize money. I suggest hitting the hay early. Dreams offer everything, but they're fleeting. It's day 52 now. Tan Ren has made hundreds of snares. He needs to set traps to hunt squirrels. Every fallen tree is a highway for squirrels. Squirrels. Tan Ren ties snares to the wood. Time is running out for them. He must gather more food before winter sets in. Tan Ren has set up countless snares nearby. Hearing crows from the trees, he decided to check the bird trap by the shore. The bird trap was triggered but caught nothing. Tan Ren hasn't caught anything this week, and now it's starting to snow. He reset the bird trap, but the water that flowed yesterday is now frozen. It's Tan Ren's first time in a wilderness survival challenge. He keeps pushing himself, aware that winning won't be easy. He stares at the river ahead. He tosses a stone at the ice, surprised when it doesn't break through. This means the weather is colder than he expected. Adam shows his body in the shelter, clearly much thinner. Adam's hunted more than anyone else, but he's still starving. Grabbing his bow, he heads out to hunt. Adam's dream is to hunt a bear, but with them hibernating in winter, even spotting one is nearly impossible, let alone hunting it. Adam's energy levels are at their lowest. His body is in starvation mode. Adam is very worried now. There are fewer animals in the forest, and he hasn't caught any fish in the river. Not getting food is the most stressful part. He's been out hunting for half a day with no success. When he returns to the shelter, he sees a grouse standing nearby. It would be a waste not to eat this delivered meal. Grouse are dumb and tasty, but Adam sits at the shelter entrance unmoved until the grouse leaves. At this point, Adam is thinking about quitting. He might be the only contestant with food reserves, but quitting now would be such a shame. Adam knows he can't last until the end. Without any mistakes, he won't last 10 days, except for Juan, the high-spirited one. Adam's departure is really unfortunate. He is a very capable contestant and has hunted the most, so what surprises will the contestants bring us next? Stay tuned for the next episode.